Okay, everyone, we're back. We got a little data snafu, but all right. So in case you missed any of that, we'll go back real quick. So you just need this paper here or any kind you have at home. It could be butcher paper, computer paper, um, construction paper, any kind of thing. Um, I think butcher paper would be really great if you want to do this outside with the kids just because you could line a whole surface and then it doesn't matter, you know, where it would splatter. So um, to get back to what I was saying, so you need bubble mix. If you don't have that, I can pin a recipe in the comments um, for a, um, a recipe that you could use like with Dawn dishwashing liquid or something like that. But you're just gonna need that bubble mixture base. I have over here mixed some already and during the snafu with um, the internet, I mixed an apricot sort of orange blend here. If you want to do this in a muffin tin, you can. It makes it easier to kind of sort the colors, but obviously if you have a bigger bubble wand, you're going to want a bowl or something different. That's to your discretion. So it's pretty simple and straightforward from there. Obviously, I think I was saying before too, if you use more bubble mixture, you're going to want more dye. So the more dye you use, the more concentrated it's going to be. But all, you know, all you're going to want to do blow this at the paper here. Let's do some pink. Whoop. And then you get kind of like a little splatter there. And this is a lot of fun for me too. I recommend definitely putting on some sloppy clothes because it does stain, you know, with the food dye. I didn't because I live dangerously. And you'll notice I'm repping my It's the Memorial Library t-shirt, so if anybody didn't get a chance to get one of those, we can also put the link for that in the comments section as well. So if you have some cool pink there, let me show you the other one. Oh, and I don't know if you caught this before too, if you like the bright colors, I definitely recommend the neon box because you can get um, purple, pink, green, all that. And then there's different recipes for other more bold colors on the back. It's a little bit trial and error though, like most bubbles. And if you are in a section where the wind is blowing in a certain direction, you might want to consider that as well. So you're going to want to keep going like that. And I also wanted to show you this one in case you don't have bubble things at home. Um, this is just a cut off water bottle. And what you can do, you know, social distancing, everyone can have their own. You just kind of make the, the bubble mixture into this thing here. Oop. And then you kind of get a, like a really nice, like huge one right there. And you can kind of all over your paper. And I think you get some really nice designs there. So you might have already seen it earlier on in the video, but you can look at, this is mine from before. I was having fun playing outside. So that's kind of what it will look like. There is no right or wrong way to do this, obviously. And then maybe later, if you want, I know Father's Day is a little bit of a month away, or this weekend is Memorial Day weekend. Maybe you want to make a card for a veteran, just say, hey, thanks for, you know, everything that you've done for our country. And maybe you want to just make like a little nice thank you card. You could do a um, bunch of bubbles, maybe like a red, white, and blue kind of thing. That would be really neat. So yeah, that's my project for today. So I thank everyone for being patient and joining in with us. If you have any questions, definitely let us know in the comments. We're happy to answer them for you. And next week we're going to be doing um, leaf relief. That's kind of, um, I think, more geared towards like the older kids and the adults just because of the complication with it. But if you're into distressed art, that's really cool. So if you're kind of like clean the house or whatever this weekend, pull out um, your lace, different kinds of cool textured patterns. That's what we're going to need next week. And um, I hope everyone has a really nice Memorial Day weekend. And <laughs> bugs are everywhere. <laughs> we'll see you soon, guys. Take care.